Walmart with small cars being by the active shooters. Violent night in Atlanta, protests over a proposed police training. Facility. Breaking news out of Texas where there has been a church shooting. Tonight, storm shelters are packed with people who were left with nothing after Ian. And families who stayed home are standing watch against looters. We begin tonight with a nation already on edge in the coronavirus pandemic as protests turn violent across America. Let's face it, there's a lot of life situations out there where an upgrade from your carry pistol might make a whole lot of sense, and that's what we're going to talk about today. If you're new to the channel, first I want to welcome you. Thank you for stopping by, and thank you for watching this video. If you would, help us out by clicking that like, sharing this video with somebody that you know that might benefit from it, and subscribing to this channel so you get notified when we put out more content like this. And while you're clicking around, go get you one of these cool t-shirts. Let's party like it's 1776. It doesn't get any cooler than that. Hey, and as we go through talking about this, let me know in the comments what you think about it, about the different evaluation points uh, and how you evaluate it, what you would change about it, what accessories you would put on it or not put on it. Do you own one of these uh, or do you have something similar? Do you like it? Does it have a real world tactical advantage for you? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I always value hearing from you and I try to respond to every comment that I get. So today we're talking about a specialized pistol platform. You may have seen it. Some people call them uh, PCCs mistakenly or PDWs mistakenly. We're gonna go through some definitions and tell you about this uh, conversion kit or stabilizer kit is what it's properly called. Uh, we're going to run through it and tell you about it and see if it's advantageous or tactically advantageous for you to own one of these. So very quickly, let's talk about some definitions or some misnomers really quickly. You hear the acronyms PCC and PDW thrown around a lot regarding uh, these little chassis systems. Uh, but in reality, a PCC is a pistol caliber carbine. And that is a compact rifle platform that shoots a pistol caliber. This is not a compact rifle platform. This is a upgraded pistol platform. So a PCC are short range, low recoil guns, but they're rifles. The biggest difference is a PCC gives you more stopping power or more power relative to the pistol, but with the same cartridge via the length of the barrel. And so you're shooting a pistol caliber cartridge out of a rifle length barrel, and that increases muzzle velocity and power of that same round that would normally be fired out of a pistol. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? And so we don't have that here today. We have a pistol. Now, you may have also heard the term PDW. You hear PCC and the acronym PDW also, or personal defense weapon. Now, the definition of PDW, it's going to vary greatly depending on whom you ask, but we have a working definition today that generally a modern personal defense weapon will be a short-barreled rifle chambered in a caliber more powerful than a pistol cartridge. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? And often those PDWs will have select fire capabilities, which we're dealing with neither one in this situation today. So what do we have here today? What we have is a specialized pistol platform, or we have a stabilizing brace uh, that allows accessories to be mounted to it. And this is made by Recover Tactical. This is their 2020. And I'll let you look at that from both sides. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So 
So we are not talking about converting a pistol to a PCC or a PDW. That's just misnomers. You can throw them around there and people do that often, but that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about creating a specialized pistol platform. It remains a pistol by its very definition. However, we hopefully create a situation with this stabilizing brace and these accessories that gives us greater pistol accuracy and greater control relative to the pistol, the Glock 19X that you see here, without the brace on it. And so that's what we want to evaluate. Does this give us greater accuracy and does it give us greater control? Is there any tactical advantage to putting this brace on the pistol? And that's going to depend on two factors or two categories. For this stabilizing brace to make sense, number one, it has to give you a tactical advantage over your normal carry gun. And then number two, it has to give a tactical advantage relative to carrying a true PDW or PCC. And so if it does neither of those, then it wouldn't make good logical or common sense to do this. Now, notwithstanding, I know gun guys and gun girls, we don't always make uh, the greatest decisions based on facts or based on uh, research that makes sense. Sometimes we just buy stuff because it looks cool and it's fun to shoot, but it has no real world practical advantage or tactical advantage. All right, so first, how do I have this set up? I have this set up, uh, obviously, with the brace kit. I think this runs you $189.95 on Recover Tactical's website. Uh, I've added a little bit of stuff to it. I put a uh, little bit of neoprene foam and wrapped with something uh, similar to bicycle tape, uh, handle grip tape on the back, just to give a little uh, extra stability and cushion on the back brace portion. I have a uh, hollow sun red dot on it, and then I have a Surefire X300 Ultra on it as well. And uh, those will come into particular play for this. It's not just set up uh, uh, on a whim that way. Uh, you have to set this thing up uh, purposefully if it's going to give you any real world benefit or real world tactical advantage to it. Now, as you saw in the video, I uh, did use just a basic backpack. and uh, uh, But for an apparatus like this, and it full has a little uh, folding brace application to it. It gets into a small, compact little platform that can shove right down into a regular backpack. And this is just a Carthart backpack, if you uh, like that backpack. Actually, my older daughter gave this to me as a gift, the backpack, because she knows I'm a bag fanatic and she knew I would like this one. But uh, that fits right down in that backpack. Uh, very easily. The only thing I changed about this backpack is I added um, this pull tab to it and I just made this with a, a mash hook and some webbing and a sewing machine. Yes, I sew. Don't tell anybody. But at any rate, it fits right down into that backpack and it is very easily uh, toted around. It's lightweight, it's compact, and so it does have a tactical advantage in that regard uh, compared to a larger PDW or PCC that you might have to carry in a full size or a 17 liter type backpack. So that is my setup for this upgraded pistol platform, the way you saw in the range time that I did uh, using this thing and trying it out. Now let's get into, uh, does it make sense from a tactical advantage or a tactical standpoint? And the way we're gonna evaluate that is from an efficiency and speed standpoint. Now when we talk about efficiency and speed, we're talking about deployment of the weapon and shots on target to neutralize the threat. Uh, so in that situation, uh, this would have to, adding this stabilizing brace would have to give me uh, greater speed and efficiency compared to my concealed carry handgun. So from a deployment perspective, first of all, inside the waistband appendix carry is where I carry. Could I get this out of that backpack quicker than I can get uh, my carry pistol out of my waistband? Absolutely not. I could practice and practice and practice and off body carry for me is never going to be faster than deploying uh, my handgun from inside the waistband. It is a further distance because it's on my back and I have to bring it around to the front as you saw in the video. And then I have to overcome the zipper as opposed to just overcoming the cover garment uh, to access my pistol. And so it is never, ever, ever time-wise from a time standpoint going to be easier to deploy. However, 
if efficiency and speed from the standpoint of shots on target overcome uh, efficiency and speed from the handgun, then it may make sense. So, does it? I would say at close range, no, it does not. A point and shoot application within six to 10 feet, even 15 feet, this does not make sense. However, at range, when you're talking about an active shooter situation, something like the mall in Indiana, and you're talking about 40 to 50 yard shots with speed uh, and accuracy, yeah, this makes sense compared to a pistol platform especially under duress. When you enter into the situation and there's physical stress that comes over your body and you enter into fight or flight and you need to make shots that count on target out 40 or 50 yards or further, this is going to make all the sense in the world, even though the deployment of it is slower. And let's talk about low light for a minute. I have a uh, Surefire X300 on here, Ultra, and that makes sense also for me uh, from a controls perspective. If I have this same light, or same light capable, lumens wise, on my pistol, I don't operate that very well uh, as I would on a dedicated platform like this. And so when I operate this light, it is uh, more intuitive and more natural. And it is also going to allow me to operate that light, uh, for me, easier than on a pistol platform and make shots out at range in low light situations. So accuracy, once deployed, if this is set up correctly, it is definitely more uh, accurate of a pistol platform at range because of the red dot sight on it and then in low light for me because of the light setup on it versus a light setup on a regular carry pistol or versus a red dot on a carry pistol. Now, the overall effective distance is increased with the stabilizing brace uh, versus a pistol for most shooters. If you're one of the elite shooters out there, you may say, no, nah, uh, it's not going to do anything for me. But uh, if you're a humble shooter and you realize your limitations with your pistol, uh, this stabilizing brace does give you an advantage at distance for accuracy and uh, thereby an advantage for speed getting shots on target to neutralize the threat. It has to be set up in my opinion with a red dot with a riser like this. You can't use your pistol sights effectively. In fact, it, it gets even harder just using your irons and then even if you have a red dot mounted on the slide, it still is harder to use. I've tried it both ways. You have to get uh, height over bore with this for it to remain comfortable and not put you in an unnatural ergonomic position. And so this is just right for me where it's very natural to shoot, it's very natural to hold, and the height of this red dot uh, relative to the slide and the barrel uh, is just like using uh, a little carbine, although it's not. It doesn't have all the advantages of it, but it does bring the sight advantage to it. So the stabilizer does allow for greater accuracy, especially at distance. Close range wouldn't make sense. Long range makes a lot of sense. And then target transitions are definitely faster uh, with a stabilizing brace, again, at range. Close distance wouldn't make that much difference. Uh, but at range, at longer distances, 40, 50 plus yards, target transitioning is also going to be more accurate and it is going to be faster. So your overall effective distance also is increased with the stabilizer. So evaluating from that first perspective, does it give the tactical advantage over your normal carry gun? Yes, it does uh, give a tactical advantage over your normal carry gun. Now, it's going to be for certain situations only. All right, so number two, for this to make sense, it not only has to give us a tactical advantage over our normal carry gun, it also has to give us a tactical advantage over a rifle caliber carbine. And now this is the hard part where it comes in, and you may differ with me in evaluating that. And if you do, that's fine. You know, let me know in the comments what you think. I'm definitely interested always to hear what you have to say about the subject. So does this give an advantage over a rifle caliber carbine? I can think of three uh, perspectives that we can look at it from. And first is price, and then second is size and weight. So first of all, price. 
This is only going to make sense if you already own a handgun that can fit into one of these stabilizing braces. So from a budget perspective, you have the need or the perceived need for a bag gun or a truck gun, uh, yet you don't have the budget, uh, the $800 to $1,000 or more, to drop into a true PDW or PCC, but you already have a handgun that one of these braces is made for. And for a couple hundred bucks added to the handgun, now you can get into an upgraded pistol platform that will give you a tactical advantage. So number one will be budget or price. And it only makes sense, as I said, if you already own something that can fit into these braces. So that's the next consideration is size and weight. From a size perspective, man, this is really small. And you saw that it fits in that backpack very easy. I mean, we're talking less than a foot um, a little bit greater than a foot in length, less than a foot in width. It fits in pretty much any backpack out there, any sling pack out there. Uh, it can fit in most ladies' purses easily like this. And so from a size perspective, it's very, very hard to beat with a true PCC or PDW. Now, there are some small ones out there on the market, uh, but very, very hard to beat. And then from a weight perspective is also where it would make sense is barely noticeable, uh, in the backpack at all, even outfitted with everything on it. And from a weight perspective, it's going to be lighter than most of your PCCs or PDWs out there on the market. So overall budget, size, and weight, yeah, does it make sense? It does make sense if you already have one that'll fit into there. It may make sense if you uh, want to go out and buy. You need a pistol or you need a handgun and one of the ones that fits into there. Uh, may make sense for you because of the size and weight perspective. It is lighter and smaller than most pistol caliber carbines and most personal defense weapons out on the market. So from that perspective, it does make sense uh, and does give you a tactical advantage. It's easier and lighter to carry. You can fit it in most bags uh, and fold it down. It'll fit in most of uh, the center consoles and vehicles, I would imagine. I haven't tried that yet. So this is the Recover Tactical 2020N Stabilizer Kit. Uh, particularly for the Glock 19, and it'll fit, uh, I think, over 40 different Glock models out there. You can check out their website at recovertactical.com uh, and direct any questions there. If you have questions or comments that you'd like to make about this uh, or you need to know something specific, drop it in the comments below. The way this is set up, again, it's got a hollow sun sight on it. It has the Surefire X300 Ultra. It has the extra magazine holder in the front, and that comes off uh, like that. You can mount a rail... Uh, mounted accessory there. I don't like that as much as having the option for an extra mag uh, that slides right in there. And then it has the uh, charging handle as well. Let me drop the mag here. I'll show you that. Makes it easy to charge. A lot of people uh, use their optic, uh, but as I said, this is not as efficient or fast. In fact, it becomes less efficient using the pistol mounted optic uh, than it does a rifle mounted optic on this accessory rail. And so I like it in that configuration. If you own one and have a different configuration set up, let me know in the comments. One of the other things that's pretty slick about this uh, stabilizer kit is it does allow uh, for a sling attachment. And their sling they designed is shock cord. And basically you feed the shock cord like that. And you loop this in through. And it allows for an adjustable sling. Uh, it's not the most stable of slings, I get it, but in a pinch, uh, this does help. And you can uh, actually bind this shock cord up on here if you needed to tuck it in tightly to your body. Uh, you could tighten this up and wrap it a couple times to where you could run with it or something like that. You do have the option, and what I created was just a uh, paracord loop, feeds through the same way, and then a mash hook with this uh, Elite Survival Systems uh, single point sling works very well and is a lot more comfortable than just uh, the shock cord. Like I said, the shock cord to get you by in a pinch, uh, this is more of a true, uh, true single point sling uh, that you can use on it. And it would hold it uh, a lot more stable and a lot more comfortable to your body. But other than that, my personal opinion, I like this thing. I keep it on my nightstand uh, most evenings. It is uh, very easy to deploy in that scenario, makes a great home defense weapon. I will start carrying in a bag uh, as a truck gun and a bag gun, and I can see uh, a real advantage to using it in real life situations over my normal handgun uh, in certain situations, should they present themselves. As always, I wanna thank you for making the choice to defend yourself and those you love. God bless you and yours.